Wrong businessman. Why? I mean, inform you on something basketball star Saudi princes and Dan Blazarian figured out a long time ago. You can get pretty much 90% of whatever you want off of Instagram if you offer travel and or a shout out. Once again, I'm not about that life, but facts are facts. But that's where I'm going to leave it because I don't want to rat out specific people. Two million pounds for her virginity. I don't want to equate women to objects, which is, oh my god, just realizing a horrible way to start a sentence. But, well, I don't want to equate women to objects. The only analogy I can think of is this is very much like you saying, I want to buy a car. As long as it looks like a Lambo to me, that's all that matters. I don't care what's under the hood. Actually, that analogy doesn't even make sense because you're not buying the car. You're paying two million pounds to cash drive a car off the factory floor. Well, you're kind of just taking the salesman's word that this is a factory fresh vehicle. But that's really the only annoyance I have in this. It's, it's more of like a financial annoyance than a real problem. If you can send it to old to do anything, there's an exchange. People can do with their bodies and their money as they please. I just wanted to go on a mini rant real quick. And then I want to talk about this story coming out of Oklahoma. There's a big controversy around it, which I don't understand, but I want to explain the situation and then give my opinion. So the story is this week in Oklahoma, these three teenagers tried to rob a home. They were armed with brass knuckles and a knife. They had ski masks on. They were decked out in black. They break the window. They break into the home. And inside the home is the son of the homeowner. The son had a gun, and he shot and killed the burglar. And as of reporting the story, authorities said they had not determined if the shooter would face any charges. Although in looking at the story, there were a lot of people saying that he should be held accountable, he should not have to shoot that gun. And that's where I have to throw in my opinion because that went off the factory floor. You know, that one was a knife situation and then get my opinion. So the story is this week in Oklahoma, these three teenagers tried to rob a home. They were on to attack. Although in looking at the story, there were a lot of people saying that he should be held accountable, he should not have to shoot that gun. And that's where I have to throw in my opinion, because that is ridiculous to me. This exact instance is why I'm pro-gun. This is home defense. This is one against three armed robbers. They broke into the home with the intention to steal or harm. Once again, they were armed. The son may have been worried that they were going to bum rush him, take his weapon, use it against him. And ultimately, what I personally see here is a person who defended themselves, they defended their home, and I don't understand why we try to villainize every single person who prevents themselves from being a victim. Am I happy these three people aged 16 to 18 are dead? No. Do I feel like they put themselves in that situation and the way that everything happened is understandable? Yeah. So people saying, yeah, well, he had an automatic weapon. It, please, if you're going to have a conversation about this, do research on the AR-15. There's so much misinformation and misunderstanding about that weapon in particular. People often confuse the AR-15 with the uh, M16s and m 4 They look very similar. Very different guns. Now, what I will say is there's a more understandable second debate point on this story, and that is because there was a fifth person involved. You're the three burglars who were killed, the homeowner's son, and the getaway driver, 21-year-old Elizabeth Rodriguez. She turned herself into police, and she was arrested on one count of first-degree burglary, one count of second-degree burglary, and this is the big one, three counts of felony first